This book is called Silly Willy. A tale retold by Anne Hansel. Once upon a time, there was a young man who was very, very lazy. He was too lazy to do any work, so his mother became very cross with him. Willie, you must find a job she said to him one day. So Willie went to work for a farmer. At the end of the first day, the farmer paid Willie with some coins. Willie put them in his handkerchief very carefully. On the way home, Willie had to blow his nose and the coins fell out and rolled away. Oh, you are silly, Willie, said his mother. Why didn't you put them in your pocket? At the end of the next day, the farmer gave Willie a jug of milk. I must put this in my pocket, said Willie to himself. No sooner had Willie poured the milk into his pocket than it began to run all the way down his trouser leg. Oh, you are silly, Willie, said his mother. Why didn't you carry it on your head? The next day, the farmer paid Willie with some butter. I must put this on my head, said Willie to himself. The sun was hot and soon the butter began to melt all the way down Willie's neck. Oh, you are silly, Willie, said his mother. Why didn't you cool it in water and carry it in your hands? The next day, the farmer gave Willie a cat. Hmm. I must cool it in water and carry it in my hands, said Willie to himself. Willie dumped the cat in the river and tried to carry it home. The cat seemed very cross. Oh, you are silly, Willie, said his mother. Why didn't you tie a string to its neck and lead it home? The next day, Willie went to work for the baker, who gave him a long, crisp loaf of bread.
Hmm, I must tie a string to it and lead it home, said Willie to himself. All the neighborhood dogs chased the loaf of bread as it dragged behind Willie. Soon, every crumb was gone. Oh, you are silly, Willie, said his mother. Why didn't you carry it across your shoulder? The next day, Willie went to work for the butcher, who paid him with a skinny goat. Hmm, I must carry this across my shoulder, said Willie to himself. What a noise the goat made as Willie tried to carry it across his neck. As Willie staggered through the town, many people heard the goat bleeding. A lovely young girl saw Willie and the goat and began to laugh and laugh and laugh. The girl's father was delighted when he saw her laughing. She had been sad all her life and had never laughed before. The father was so happy that he said Willie could marry his daughter. The father gave his daughter and Willie a big house to live in and bags of money. and they all lived happily ever after. The end.